much for coming back to my, my channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the comments. I appreciate. For those that have not, have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give me the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be very grateful. Just in the comments, uh, comment section below. Uh, you can try to drop in a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, 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 for the support that you've given me today. Now today um, we shall talk about what we, we shall talk about uh, the residence permit uh, that is called the RP. The small abbreviation is called RP. That is here in uh, the Gulf states. Uh, it is one of uh, it is one that is used in uh, Oman. We have Saudi Arabia. We had Bahrain. Uh, they normally they normally refer to it as Inkama, or you can say. Uh, depending on where you're coming from, which region, maybe Oman, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, it's called the residence permit. And here in Qatar, what you call a residence permit, uh, it's just that, um, uh, it's just, uh, it's just a rectangular, it's a rectangular form of plastic uh, uh, ID, and it bears your name, it will bear your nationality, it will bear your passport number, it will bear your validity, it will bear the date and the expiry date. It is just an identification number uh, with different uh, biometrics uh, features that are inserted. That's preferred to identify you. Okay? And it becomes, it actually, what you call the residence permit is one that becomes one of uh, the supporting documents that shows that you are legal to live in that country. Okay? So after you are given, after you, uh, after you sign a contract with a company, uh, now we are looking at a situation where inside the country, after you sign a contract with a company, you'll go for, for the medical, you'll go for the medical checkup, and after you serve the probation period of six months, uh, uh, you'll go for the medical check, checkup, uh, after a few weeks, uh, maybe like two or three weeks, they'll get you what you call a residence permit. And that is the, it's the same as the work permit. They'll get it for you and you'll have it. That one will have your identification number, that uh, your bank account will be supported by that. Your mobile, mona, mobile phone will be supported by that. That's how easily they can identify you and how easily they can track you. And even your visa is just falling under that biometric features that are being put under that identification uh, identification card. But sometimes we have a scenario, we have, a, we have situations, for example, let's say for example, you have a situation whereby uh, you're in a particular company and your residence, Peter, your residence permit or identification, identification number is, uh, uh, is, is, is expired. And uh, you know when your residence permit here in Qatar, when it expires, uh, it is given an allowance of three months uh, for you to renew. After the three months without renewing, then either your employer will get a penalty, you will pay some fine for that, for not renewing it in time, and, uh, or once you, the person, the employee, the old of that card you got uh, moving with an unexpired ID, in case it is a bad day for you, then probably they will have to question you or even take you to police for that, for that situation to, to explain. So it is a responsibility of you, and it's the responsibility of you and the employer to see that it doesn't get out of, it doesn't get out of the, it doesn't get out of the extension period that is being given at a particular period. But uh, what happens is that um, that residence permit, or what we call, you can call it in Kama in some other Arab countries. Here we, we now we're referring to what we call the cutter ID, as we call it, it's called the cutter ID. So for that one, it's normally renewed, what is renewed yearly. Each year, they renew your cutter ID. So depending on the contract that you have, if for example, you have a contract with a company for two years, then every single year that goes off is when your ID will be renewed. And after your two years, it will depend on uh, the agreement between you and your employer to decide. If you give him another, if you sign another contract with him, you probably he will renew your cut ID another year. If 
you decide not to give him the consent to renew your ID, then probably he will not renew your ID at a given period of time. So it is just the contractual agreement between the two, the employee and the, the, the employees and the employer uh, for the renewal. Because he needs to ask you before he has to renew your ID at a given period. Then there are situations, where, uh, situations whereby, um, whereby, let's say for example you're five years, still it is the same thing, it is still the same thing that it has to be renewed every single moment of year, every single year, then that is what we call the renewal at a time. Then, for example, if you've worked, your contract is two years and you've worked one and, one and a half years, remember that the Qatar ID, the resident permit that you have, bears your visa, okay? So if you have to, 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 to cancel out or uh, cancel out or canceling of uh, the contract, then they also have to cancel out or you need to cancel out the Qatar ID or the resident permit that you have, depending on uh, the agreement still that you have the between the employer and the, the employee at a certain period of time. There are some employers they say when you cut out when you cancel out the ID, you'll have to be you pay an an, an extra charge. I'll have to charge you uh, if yet if if for that case you've not finished up the contract. So that will be an account, and that uh, amount agreeable it it will definitely sometimes it depends on you and the employer and but at this time sometimes you do not have the say the employer will have to determine how much he has to cut for for the id but this residence permit is the technology is just moving very fast you can access it uh, you can access it on your, your mobile you can access it on your computer you can access it on your laptop you can know whether i submitted my id for 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 uh, for for, uh, for replacement or for renewal, whether the process is or uh, whether it is the process is on or not, you can check online. Uh, you can check on the government portal that is on the Ministry of the Interior, uh, the MOI portal. You can try to log in. Uh, then it will give you the details. It will show you that your ID is in the process or your ID has never been submitted for renewal. Then you can write back to your human resource or your you can write back to the manager or your manager or human resource or your company, then you can update them or you can put them on, on alert that you, have, you, you need to have your ID with you. Remember, your ID is part of your property and the ID that you have is one, is the only, sub, is, it becomes a supporting document that ca carries a lot and that's what you have to show every, in, in times when it is asked for. So let's go to the tutorial. I show how you can try to check the status of your ID. Hi guys, thank you so much. Uh, again, I had another question. As we said, uh, this one was trying to, to ask about um, what we call the residence permit. That is the Qatar ID or the residence permit. And he wanted to check out the status of the residence permit. And this is what happens also. We shall still go to the same portal. We shall go to the same portal. We shall go to the Ministry of Interior portal. You go to search. Uh, when we go to that, we shall go to inquiry printing. We shall go to actually, we shall go to the portal. We will click here. Then we shall just go to the website. Uh, as earlier, as we say that we have the traffic inquiry, the visa services, entry and exit permits. We don't have the exit and entry permits anymore. We shall just go straight to the residence permit inquiry. So when you click that, this is what will come. It one will be RP application and tracking printing. We have RP renewal tracking, then permanent residence eligibility inquiry. Then we have the print exceptional return permit. Okay. So for this one, if for your CATA ID or your residence permit, CATA ID expired and you need to track whether the printing process is, uh, is in progress or whether your employer submitted your, your, your CATA ID, you trace it from here. For those that have expired, expired CATA ID and you, 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 you re-applied or you took it back for renewal and you need to track whether uh, the, the renewal is in process, you can still track it here. You will have the information. Then we have the permanent residence eligibility. Uh, this one goes as far as uh, uh, you need to be a permanent residence, then probably you will also check from here. And normally, I think this one is only normally applied by the, uh, the employer 
who gives you the visa then we have the print exceptional return permit this was just introduced re recently where we had the COVID-19 and uh, the COVID-19 that some of the people their Qatar IDs expired when they're outside the countries so for them to return because already your cut id is expired you needed your employer to print for you what you call an ex uh, 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 to print an exceptional return permit and that return permit would be sent to you on your email and that is what you would use as you you coming back to the country because you know uh, some stayed so long in their countries because of COVID and their permits were uh, raising permit we are expired. So right now, right now we shall just go to um, let's, 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 let's just go to let's say for example you applied for, for the residence permit for the Qatar ID. Uh, we shall just go to and you need to find out the status of it all. You need to find out whether it is in process, it is in track printing or not. Uh, this one, this is for example, um, you want to renew your cut ID, your employer took your cut ID for renewal, but for quite a long period, it is not returned. So you can also check check yourself and know whether your employer submitted your cut ID to the Ministry of Interior or it is not submitted. So we can just see, we can just come here, uh, you say here you just punch in your cut ID number, which is, I'll just use this number for a meanwhile then we can say okay then after that you'll have this verification code which is a four four one nine okay then you press submit okay so now this is what will come it will tell you there is no residence permit to renew request for this qq id meaning that for this id my employer has not submitted my id for renewal what does it mean if your id is already expired that means your your employer is still held is still holding your cutter id within his hands or where within office maybe for some reasons or uh, he will submit it later but for some reason but when you go to that it will show you there is no tracking at all uh, it is not submitted so there is no information that's why it is giving you this information which says there is no residence permit renewal request for this id so what advice do i give you let's say for example you submitted your id and uh, it is now past three months your id is not here to return then you can write your office or contact your supervisors or contact the human resource department in your company then you can try to inquire about your id because normally the printing of the id takes just uh, one to two weeks uh, your id renewal is already printed out that you can have it back but remember guys for the qid for the qid you need to be very careful with the qid why because you need to move with your qatar id or you need to, to move with your uh, uh residence residence uh, id all the time because you may get a problem and the only way to sort out yourself is they need to take that id look at at the airports look at the airports the supporting document that is needed is your id and if your ID expires past three months, that means you'll have to face police. They'll take you to police. And your employer is also given a fine because after it is uh, expired, they give you an extension of three months of when you are supposed to be within the three months, you are supposed to have renewed your Qatar ID. So you're still on the um minutes of interior portal you can still track you can still know this is not rocket science this is something that you can use with your phone that is the technology we have now it's something that you can even search from your phone because you have it when you have internet access somewhere you can still track it and you can still it, use it and find out the information um thank you so much guys uh hope i've answered the question rightly of hope i've showed you the procedure is a very simple procedure that you can also do remember guys subscribe to my youtube channel for those that have subscribed thank you so much for those that have not subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much guys